That's a little pep in here. Anyways, today's Monday, July 15th, and I canceled my plans. Today's my last attempt to recharge. I just filmed a video for like um, June self growth diaries, but it's my last attempt to fully recharge before the next two to three very busy weeks. And uh, I feel like it's my 10th attempt to recharge. And every time I promise myself to recharge and just disconnect from everything, I fail. I just fail because I do the same things. I keep thinking about all the things I need to do and it's just not working out. So today I'm just recharging and doing whatever I want to do. I'm about to watch a movie. I will apply to the job. <laughs> because the deadline is tomorrow and I just don't want to apply on the very last day. So I will do it today while I'm watching the movie. I already journaled. My journal is about to end actually, not a lot left. Actually, you won't, I'm like showing you as if you know, but yeah, this is how much is left. I already prepared a new journal and then I have books to read. Two of them I need to finish reading because I've been reading them for a very long time. So How to Cure a Ghost, History of Kindness, I love this book, it's very nice. And it did not start with you. Uh, again, I feel like this is a very beneficial and nice book to read, especially in my current situation, my current state, where I'm trying to grow and become better. But yeah, I'm just listening to singing bowls, but I will watch Love, Eat, Pray, Eat, Love, Pray, Live, Love, Pray, you got me, that movie. <laughs> I feel like it's just a nice background movie that I can put on for like next two hours, just apply for the job and, you know, focus on more admin stuff. And then again, just shut it down and keep journaling. I want to do shadow work today and I really need it. So that's why I'm focusing on that. And just if you need to recharge, join me. We're going to do it together. This is my self-reflection journal. I wrote a bunch of questions that I asked ChatGBD to create for me for shadow work and self-reflection and future self-work. I still have to write down a bunch of them. It's more than 30 questions, so I just wrote like 10 of them, but they're very detailed and I love ChatGBD for those things like self-growth and recipes. This is how I use ChatGBD primarily. So that's what I'm gonna be doing later today, self-reflecting and journaling. Okay, this is the current situation. I'm going to make this chain longer for the sound catcher because it just does not reflect the sound, which is so sad, but I attached it to the chain because my cat keeps bothering it and basically when it's on the thread, it just doesn't last longer. So on the chain, it will last obviously longer, but I do need to make it a little bit longer then i'm going to do some tarot spread i wanted this deck for so long and it's really such a great deck for like self-care it's such an easy and beautiful deck so i definitely recommend buying that then i'm drinking this kombucha not my favorite one but you know it will suffice and then i will work on my vision board that i started making a month ago look at that perfect perfect length and hopefully it will be showing up some rainbows i'm really excited it always makes my morning super good and super bright and i can't wait to see some of them tomorrow hopefully i also want to share the fact that today i feel magical and i don't know like a fairy and i want to document it because this is such a rare occurrence in my life and i really attribute it to the fact that today intentionally i decided to create and i also intentionally plugged in in so positive content positive podcast some positive music and i watched a positive video of a content creator that i adore and that kind of sparked my day in a positive direction but yeah i really feel a little bit overwhelmed by all this emotions but i will not let it to distract myself and i will just direct it towards you know finishing little projects and being more creative and being self-reflective and engaging in more art and creativity because i think it's important but yeah i just i feel so good today and i'm just so thankful to be here and i'm just so thankful to feel this way because this is just so rare in my life as of now i don't know i i really appreciate it 
it because you know we change like especially our physical appearance like i i feel like i aged 10 years at least since my dad passed away and sometimes i don't recognize myself but my essence inside of me it's still me and i feel like a lot of us carry this inner child throughout our lives without healing it or without taking its hand and you know doing the things that you wanted to do as a child some do it later some recognize this need earlier in life and i'm grateful for recognizing that i need to heal and be a friend to my inner child earlier despite the fact that i age and i have new wrinkles and i look tired and you know as i mentioned since my dad passed away i really aged like 10 years and this light does not work in my favor <laughs> but uh, my essence is still the same it's still me it's still julia creative who loves nature and has uh, you know attention to to the world and cares about the world and animals and plants it's just like so interesting to see that it works for me for some people it may not work the same way maybe your essence changed but i feel like my essence and my core values and my core interests are pretty much the same since the moment i was born or since the moment i gained consciousness because ever since i remember myself I was always creative. I always loved to explore. I hated injustice. I hated abuse. I hated animal abuse. I always loved cre creating. I think I already mentioned that. Writing, taking photos, you know, collecting rocks. This is just like such a huge thing in my life. I've been always collecting rocks. Like, ever since i remember myself you know i'm a little bit of a hoarder but like creative hoarder you know and yeah i just love journals i love watching movies and it's always been a part of me and this is just like so funny to see that in me at the age of 32 and i'm just like also grateful to become older despite the fact that i also said oh i aged 10 years but not all of us have this opportunity and i agree that aging is a gift and it's our outlook on this whole thing so yeah i'm just so grateful to be here and i just wanted to share this moment of positivity i don't know why i feel like crying <laughs> why do i feel like crying I don't want to cry. I feel good. Actually, I'm going to finish this bag. I need to finish attaching this little thingy. It's my first bag that I saw with a sewing machine. It's not perfect or ideal. You can see it, but I'm in love of making ruffles. For a fact, I have a denim bag that I need to finish. It just, I'm a little bit discouraged because there were some malfunctions, <laughs> but it's okay. I already have a plan. I just need to sit down and execute it, but yeah, I just love it so much. This is so cute. I love ruffles. I love red and yeah, I love sewing. So I will just keep working on that. <laughs> That's my little snack bowl, midday snack bowl, cherries and watermelon. Quite exciting. <laughs> Pep is also excited. <laughs> my makeup off i already cried a little bit i'm still watching eat love pray but i'm taking the breaks in between i did the tarot spread and i read a little bit i did some other things around the house i wrote a little bit i did not write for a very long time funny enough i wrote about the rain and just like a little one page story about the rain and how amazing it is that it rained last week in here after a very dry period in raleigh and now it looks like it may rain later but not in raleigh around our area sucks because i love rain i feel like rain matches my mood and unlike in belgium rain here is like way bigger and i mean the droplets is way bigger and it's just like so much better than in in belgium because in belgium it's just like a it's 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 frustrating rain if you know what i'm talking about you know i'm pretty sure it's the same in like the netherlands but yeah here it's just so much better and i love to go outside sometimes to just stand in the rain and just soak it in and enjoy it such an interesting card because i'm about to read the meaning but before i read the meaning from the book that the author provides i always look at the cards and try to interpret my own meaning or what i see and what i see is going through a rough period rough times and it's a lot of it <laughs> and coming out on the other side with colors and 
shining bright and spreading that positivity around and at one point setting your boundaries here but also as i mentioned spreading something positive and so you know either past or negativity that surrounds you and then there is a star which can mean obviously many things like either it's a representation of you or guidance or angels or you know spirits that guide you and look after you or it's the universe and universe knows what's best for you and while you may have you know some hard period in your life and some tough lessons eventually you will come out fine and obviously this is my um, interpretation because of what i'm going through but this is such a beautiful card i think it really made me think and reflect on my current experiences a lot okay so i actually want to read you from the book about this card and it says so the card is why so it brings complexity to flavors and great to slippery roads such is the magic of soul sapiente someone who carries white salt is immediately recognizable their words hold meaning their stories are deep and true and that line for some reason just resonated with me they have wisdom that cannot be attained by any other means than decades of pain and pleasure i guess i am on my way to wisdom Honestly, I always thought that like the biggest goal in my life is just to be wise um, at an older age. Also mentions elders of the community. And it's funny because when I heard that combination of words um, long time ago, well, not long time ago, like a few months ago, I was like, wow, this is who I want to be. I want to be the elder in my community. And I want to be that wise person who has this as I mentioned, deep stories and advice to people, I think I can really do that. And frankly, I feel like I could have been a very good therapist. Anyways, everything you are going through will be of use down the line. Uh, preserve what you can. And yes, it does resonate with me a lot. And I pulled this card for a deeper message from the soul. And I think this is really, really, really nice. And there are definitely lessons to learn from this card. It also says, go deeper, read about the salt marches in India. I already found a few YouTube videos about uh, Gandhi and salt march in India. So I will watch those videos a little bit later. But it also made me think how interesting that salt is such an easy and accessible ingredient or tool. And it's used in so many areas and how we overlook salt, how some of us even hate salt and don't get me wrong salt can cause obviously you know health issues and what's not but at the same time salt is such a great thing even in like magic and witchcraft you know it's used a lot you can buy it so easily it used during winter it used to scrub our skin you know it's just such a easy thing to access and it made me think about the fact that things that we just have in our lives we are not always grateful for those things like we take those things for granted like access to a vehicle or having a roof over your head especially in the u.s i feel like this is such a big topic where people can become homeless so easily not a lot of people can afford to have a car and americans rely on cars so heavily and just being grateful for the small things like salt and water and cup of coffee in the morning and you know warm bed it can be already so beneficial to our days and it also advised to connect with or lean heavily on your elders unfortunately i do not have elders in my like community or my close circle but whenever i volunteer there are older people and actually yesterday i had like a little situation where this like older lady she like spoke over me and then made a comment about something i said and you know it did not bother me whatsoever because we can learn from older people because not all of us at an older age become wise or gain the experience to reflect those lessons and positivity on others or guide others and this is okay because all of us are so different but 
at first of all, I wasn't unbothered by what she said. Yes, I did reflect on that. Yes, I thought about it. I told my husband about it. But I don't know. It's I was so confident and comfortable in my skin and in my body and with who I am. So I was there when she was making like this comment and i was thinking that it does not bother me because i am not in a competition it's not a environment where we should compete and there is nothing i have to prove to her or anyone else and at the same time like i know she did that and i obviously have my like alarm going off or going on but i have no like anger towards her of course i'll be careful with a person like that but at the same time i am really fascinated by people and and, you know it said uh, lean heavily on your elders and it can mean I feel like so many things you can learn from older people and it does not necessarily uh, mean sit around them and listen to their deep stories it can also mean look at the older people who misbehave who think just because they're old you know younger generations owe them who demand things who like stick their nose into your business and just think they're smarter just because they're old and you can reflect on that too and be like wow i actually don't want to be that person i actually want to respect people no matter of that age and i experienced that a lot in my life like younger people who you know like five seven ten years younger than me because i worked in retail and with young people than me i'm like you're so freaking smart and i love hearing you know your your input and your stories and this is important and same goes to older people just hearing their stories and their input so it can go either ways you know but my point is <laughs> you can learn from bad too you can look at someone in this case at an older person and be like wow i don't want to be like you because you're rude you're entitled and you're not being a kind and a nice person and i always envision myself as this elderly lady who is wise and nice and like those aunties from practical magic or aunties from sabrina's chilling adventures of uh, sabrina this is how i always envision myself at an older age this is why i do the work because i really want to reach that state of peacefulness and being unbothered because i'm definitely someone who has so many emotions who is an empath and who takes everything so close to my heart and i want to be an empath i want to be emotional and i want to feel deeply but i also want to know when to draw the line and what lessons i can extract for that i feel like i'm rambling and it doesn't make sense but yeah i feel like this is just such an interesting card and i love this deck a lot i definitely recommend this deck it's such a beautiful beautiful deck i'm just so happy i have it just want to show you what i'm eating it's a big bowl of curry homemade curry my husband actually cooked it yesterday i just pre-cut everything it's my recipe but um because i wasn't home i asked him to cook and it's so freaking good i was so excited to eat it and i'm just cannot wait yes pep also has opinions about it but look at it different veggies soy balls rice so freaking good hello again this is pringle my day is coming to an end and i did not finish everything i wanted to do today and i feel fine about it because i still will read more and i will journal more so that's okay all the other like creative things i'll do later i did do some productive things like i just finished cleaning the kitchen so i'm proud of myself and the day's beautiful i do feel better i would not say i feel recharged but i think it's been the furthest i've come on this like recharge journey on this recharge path and i've been thinking about the fact that i never truly sat down with my grief because when i came back from belgium back to the u.s last year i kind of started applying to the job and then i got a job and then i was working and then i was caught up in this web of thinking that i have to perform and, and and to be a certain person to fit in and it's so silly because at that age i already had to know that this is not how it goes but then i was like Mm, it's like something does not go well you know like my values are different from this environment but anyways my point is that i was always doing something i was always going somewhere and i never truly sat down for a very long time with my grief and never let it go through my body fully i would just like be sad for a day and then keep going be sad for a day and then would keep going you know or i would cry in the shower before the sleep and then i would be like okay i'm fine and that's how it was. I don't think I truly had a period of time 
like a week or month or so where I would just truly be invested in my grief and I feel like that was truly needed for me grief is so different for everybody and I don't know I felt like I never truly sat down and thought about it I never thought about what grief journey is for me and what will work for me in that journey now like a year and a half later i am just realizing that i truly missed on that part so i probably will start carving some space for myself to work for grief and grief obviously does not have an end date it's not like you wake up one day and you're like oh my god grief has ended it's not like a vacation or something i feel like i truly need to just sit down in silence in nature and just truly reflect on what has happened because i feel like these thoughts and emotions are just so scattered in my brain so scattered across you know a year and a half and i just don't have this like big chunk of information or chunk of emotions or this piece of paper where i would just express myself about this grief journey and what i experienced and what i'm mad about or what i regret etc so i i don't know it was just so weird to think about it because i thought i'll just go like hand in hand with grief until you feel slightly better but again because i know i had the space for myself to just sit down with grief i feel like that journey i don't know it does matter and it does count the work i've done in regards to my dad's passing and grief in the last year and a half i just feel like i need to <laughs> like a cookie i need to dip myself into the milk to like truly experience that and even though i had some moments of like to you know for myself and to myself they were never dedicated to like working on grief and i feel like i need that i need i need that in order to move on and just to honor my dad as well this is what i'm going to do but my day is coming to an end i do feel better i do think it was a successful day i do feel more optimistic and so tomorrow i will step into a new day with a refreshed mindset i hope you had a good day as well and i really wish you all the best